नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस आई एम प्राणेश द फाउंडर ऑफ द चैनल एंड एन आई आई सी बैंगलोर एलमनस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर एफ्टी टेस्ट ट्वेंटी एटीन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल सॉल्व एम सी क्यू नंबर इलेवन फ्रॉम फिजिक्स एंड एम सी क्यू नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन पेपर द प्रॉब्लम इज फ्रॉम मैकेनिक्स विच स्टेट्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम रेस्ट a car moves with a constant acceleration and comes to a momentary stop with the same constant deceleration subsequently it reverses its motion and returns to its original position in a similar manner which one of the following graphs of momentum p versus time t best describes the motion of the car now to solve this problem we will first need two terms or two equations from mechanics the first one is acceleration being the derivative of velocity right well it is a vector notation but since the car is in rectilinear motion we can drop the vector notation and the second thing momentum p is mass into velocity and uh, mass being a non zero well i would say non negative and non zero always positive quantity momentum and velocity vectors will always be directed in the same direction okay so with these two things we can very easily solve the problem what we are going to do is we are going to plot the graphs of acceleration against time acceleration against time and velocity against time at the same time okay now they are saying momentum we are plotting velocity are these graphs going to be different of course they are going to be different but the thing is the shapes will be maintained right because both momentum and velocity will show similar variation with time because momentum is just mass into velocity right and here we are only talking about qualitative descriptions okay so that's clear now let's start uh, they say starting from rest a car moves with a constant acceleration so constant acceleration means on the at diagram it is going to be represented by a horizontal line constant acceleration and this constant acceleration if we consider it to be a positive or to be positive what does it mean it means that the velocity will be an increasing function of time yes velocity is an increasing function of time because its derivative is positive now they say and comes to a momentary stop with the same constant deceleration what does this mean this means that the velocity is now going to be zero because they say it comes to a momentary stop but before the car actually stops it must decelerate right because if its constant acceleration becomes zero the car will continue to move with a constant velocity but that they are saying no that's not happening they are saying it comes to a momentary stop with the same constant deceleration so we have to draw it like this we have to now assume that acceleration is negative only then the velocity will start decreasing which means the graph of velocity against time will have a negative slope equal to acceleration and it will come to standstill please note that the car has not returned to its original position yet right it has not returned to its original position why is that that's because see it's let's say it started here first it accelerated reached a point and then it again started decelerating and came to a standstill okay so this is where the acceleration is positive part and this is where the acceleration is negative part okay fine then they say subsequently it reverses its motion now it reverses its motion means now the velocity has to be negative velocity has to be negative and they are saying returns to its original position in a similar manner what does that mean that means now whatever may be the momentum's value it will be negative right the momentum has to be negative which basically rules out options a and d right because this is our positive Uh, velocity this is positive direction right this is where velocity is positive so clearly in this case when it reverses the velocity has to be negative so momentum has to uh, will also be negative 
right? So A and D are ruled out. Now we have to decide whether it is option B or option C. But it's clearly option C now. Why is that? It's clearly option C because in B, the momentum increases first and then it suddenly becomes negative. This graph is almost vertical. Okay? But this doesn't indicate constant deceleration. This does not indicate constant deceleration. Isn't it? So the correct option is C. Okay, the correct option is C. Right? And and this discontinuity in the acceleration against time curve is clearly an indicator that the function, the velocity is not differentiable at that particular point, which is clearly indicated by the corner. Right? So in this case we can say that it will continue to travel with the same negative acceleration, which means the velocity will clearly now decrease or increase in the magnitude in the opposite direction and then again the acceleration is this, right? So, okay, so that will be the variation of momentum versus time and velocity variation against time. So, correct option is option C.